Harvard MIT Mathematics Tournament Team Selection 2022 uh, problem number six the main problem is this find all positive integers n for which there is a real constant c such that this equation satisfied for all real numbers x okay let me show you for solving this problem there is a uh, very important idea and it's useful from qualifying level of any country olympiad math olympiad up to imo international mathematical olympiad which is the most prestigious one also for having next videos uh, turn on subscribe my youtube channel turn on the bell and like <clears throat> my video and if you had any question feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments okay so uh small example on here and sometimes we have many variables we should consider one of them or two of them from different views sometimes you should use small example in the middle of solution here i say okay let's consider n equals one because n is positive integer let me minimize that okay so c plus one times sine squared x plus cos squared x minus b sine to the power of 4x plus cos to the power of 4x equals 1. Now, if we consider, we will see it is 1. And, okay, if C, it says what? There is a real constant. There exists C. So, if C is 0, then we will see it will be 1 minus 0. Is it equal to 1? And we will see that's correct. So, N1 is okay. Now, let's consider n2. Until some ends, it is obvious from one end, you understand the idea of the problem and you can generalize that. That's so much useful in these problems. In each topic, for example, combinator x number theory, there are some important ideas. If you want to learn them, as I said before, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. So n equals 2. I replace minus c sine 6x plus cos 6x. It equals 1 for what c? Let me tell you something. Here we have sine cos. I want to show that in terms of, because it is correct for all x, for all real number x, I want to show this as a polynomial in terms of cos x, p of r, cos x. And I say, okay, it is equal to zero for infinite number of x. So I can conclude all coefficients are zero. If I can write this in terms of polynomial, it is one of the most important idea in algebra and in polynomials section. So here I say, okay, let's show sine 4x, how I can show it in terms of cos x. Sine 4x is what is sine squared x squared it will be 1 minus cos squared x squared and sine 6x will be what will be sine squared x so cubed and it will be my 1 minus cos squared x cubed so i can show it in terms of cos in terms of cos and we know it is equal to this when two polynomials are equal then all coefficient related coefficient must be equal and then I say, okay, sine 4x is what? Is 1 plus cos 4x minus 2 cos squared x. And this one, it will be what? 1 uh, minus 3 cos squared x plus 3 cos 4x minus cos 6x. And if I replace your c plus 1, times sine 4x sine 4x is what 1 plus cos 4x minus 2 cos squared x minus c it will be 1 minus 3 cos squared x plus 3 cos 4x and minus cos 6x cos 6x will be cancelled it equals 1 for all x's now if I consider coefficient of cos, the degree cos 4x, for coefficient of cos 4x, c plus 1 here 
and this port negative 3c should be 0 because here we don't have cos so negative 2c plus 1 equals 0 so c equals 1 half now we should check cos squared x c plus 1 times negative 2 plus 3c equals 0 and if you replace it with 1 half it will be 3 halves over negative 2 will be negative 3 plus 3 over 2 equals 0. Sorry, here, because we have cos 4x also here, I should place 2 here. And then I can say, okay, 2c plus 1 minus 3c will be 0. So let me correct this part. And you say what? 2c minus 3c will be negative th c plus 2 equals 0, so c equals 2 from here. If you replace 2 here, it will be 3 times negative 2 plus 3 times 2, which will be 0. Okay, now we check cos squared x constant. c plus 1, so let me write here, constant. c plus 1 minus c equals 1 and we see okay here one constant term will be cancelled and it's okay so for n2 it's okay and c here equals 2 for previous one for n1 c was what c was 0 so for n1 and n2 we found answer okay now we understood the idea is what we should consider as a polynomial in terms of cos x and try to consider the coefficients because it is correct for all x's. So let me copy this one and for n greater than or equal 3. For n1 and 2, we found answer. We said n1 and n2 are okay. So let's consider n is at least 3. So here, if n is at least 3, I want to write. I say c plus 1 sine 2n. So it's sine squared, you can say 1 minus cos squared x to the power of n plus cos 2nx minus c 1 minus cos squared x to the power of n plus 1 plus cos 2n plus 1 x equals 1. So it is a polynomial in terms of p cos x and we know it is correct for infinitely all variable of x also cos x can be can have infinitely many uh, variables many numbers so we say it is always equal to this so let's consider coefficients related coefficients at first the degree is cos 2 n plus 1 x the coefficients of this at first let's consider is what here it's 0 minus c minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus here it's 1 and we know that n is at least 3 so it's not constant so right side will be 0 so here we conclude two things c is 0 or we can say this is 0 so negative 1 it must be negative 1 so n plus 1 should be odd so or n is even so we have only these two cases let's consider coefficient of cos 2 n x the left side will be what c plus 1 negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 plus 2 n x minus c this one if we consider 2 n it will be n plus 1 choose n and negative 1 to the power of n it will be cos 2nx and here plus now here we don't have any cos 2nx okay so it will be 0 because n is at least 3 it is at least 6 it's not constant so this one we consider two case if c is 0 then let's see what we have c is 0 negative 1n plus 1 equals 0 so n is what n is odd so the first case if n is even then let's see what we have if n is even we can say c plus 1 times 2 
minus c times n plus 1 times negative 1 to the power of n will be positive 1 equals 0. Now, we say, okay, 2c minus cn, it will be c2 minus n. And take constant term to right hand side, it will be, ah, uh -huh, sorry. Here, if you factor from c, c2 minus n minus 1. And if we take 2 to the right hand side, it will be negative 2. And here it will be 1 minus n, so c equals 2 over n minus 1. Okay, so we consider only these two cases. So first case, second case. Now we should consider coefficient of cos 4n, 2n, sorry, 2n plus 2, 2n, 2n minus 2x. So here, the first part, it will be c plus 1 times n minus 1 here, it will be negative 1 to the power of n minus 1, n choose n minus 1, minus c, and here, n, my, n plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 1, n plus 1, choose n minus 1, and it equals 0. So here, we say, okay, we have two options. Let's consider the first case, c is 0, n is odd. So here it will be 0, it will be 1, n is odd, so it is even, it is plus 1 plus 1, and it is n, so n equals 0, and that's a contradiction. Second case, n is even, c equals 2 over n minus 1. If I replace... 2 over n minus 1 plus 1, and we know that n is at least 3, so it is at least 2, 3, 6 minus 2, 4. It is not constant, so that's the reason it says 0, because if it is constant, right side will, should be 1. As I said before, if you had any question about the solution or how we can reach the solution, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. 2 over n minus 1 plus 1, n is even, so n is even, it is odd. Negative 1 to the power of odd is negative 1. So it will be negative n minus 2 over n minus 1 times negative 1 to the power of even minus 1 odd. It will be negative 1. You can apply here. It's plus 1. And it will be n plus 1 times n all over 2. Because it is n plus 1 choose 2. And it should be 0. So let's consider what can we say here. If we use common denominator, we can say, okay, n minus 1. n minus 1 plus 2 will be n plus 1 times negative n. You can cancel these two terms. n plus 1 times n over n minus 1 is 0. And we will see, okay, it's correct always. So we should consider what now? Coefficients of cos 2n minus 4x, because n is at least 3, 2n minus 4 is at least 2, so it is not constant, so right side will be 0. Now I should consider this term again. C. So here we know that we should only consider the case that n is even and c equals 2 over n minus 1. Now if I consider this term, it will be c plus 1. Ah, sorry. It's better to copy this part that we've changed to cos. So let's copy this part, control C. And now we consider the related coefficients. Okay, here is this. Minimize it. Okay. So 2n minus 4. It will be what? Negative 1 to the power of n minus 2 times n choose n minus 2 minus c times negative 1 to the power of n minus 2 n plus 1 choose n minus 2 and um, it should be 0 so if we consider this case it will be what c 2 over n minus 1 plus 1 will be n plus 1 if we consider this plus 1 n minus 1 use common denominator plus 2 will be n plus 1 over n minus n is what? n is even, so it is also n minus 2 is even, so you can consider n choose 2 here, it will be n minus 
n times n minus 1 over 2 minus c is what 2 over n minus 1 negative 1 to the power of n minus 2 n is even it is plus so you can get rid of that it is n plus 1 choose 3 and it will be n plus 1 times n times n minus 2 n minus 1 over 3 factorial or you can say 3 times 2 is 0 so you can cancel these two we can cancel n minus 1 n minus 1 we can cancel n minus 1 n minus 1 so we have what n plus 1 times n over 2 minus n times n plus 1 over 3 is 0 so because we know n and n plus 1 are not 0, you can divide both sides by n, n plus 1, so you will reach 1 minus 2, oh, 1 minus 3 is 0, so you can conclude 1 over 6 is 0, which is contradiction. Okay, so we've proved that for n1, c was 0 is okay, n1, n2, c was 2 is okay, n1 and n2 is okay. For n greater than 3, all of them are bad so we proved completely this problem of harvard mit mathematics tournament team selection for 2022 i will release other harvard problems and other competitions for usa for british for other national olympiad also i released the last international mathematical olympiad imo 2021 if you had any question, if you want to learn the ideas, if you want to improve your problem solving, how to solve hard problems or basic problems from basic level up to the hardest level before university, after university for Olympiads, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments.